I've got a lovely recipe using Irish brown crab. It's a crab tacos with some avocado and tomatoes. So it's really quick, there's no cooking in it, which is the beautiful thing, and it's lovely and light and fresh. And I think something all the family will enjoy. So before we do uh, a bit of the assembly and a bit of the preparation, I wanna to talk to you about the beautiful Irish crab. So I've been lucky enough to go around in the boats with my Irish seafood trails and fishermen's boats, and just to see how hard fishermen work. And this is the brown crab. I mean, we have to appreciate and respect where our food comes from. So this is what the full crab, don't worry, it's cooked, it looks like. And the main meat is in the claws here and actually in the body of it. But the shell, you can make a lovely bisque. So you can kind of use that up so you can, so you don't waste it. Nowadays, you can just get your crab already cooked and it, it's pasteurized so it keeps longer in the supermarket or your fishmonger. So this is the crab meat I'm using here. So this is uh, the white crab meat, I'll just show it to you here. It's nice and lumpy, it's cooked. So this comes from Shellfish Ireland down in Castletown Bear. They're the ones who supply us in McNean House. So Ryan and the father, so well done to them. And these are the crab claws, and you know crab claws are delicious. Just simply tossed with some good Irish butter, a little touch of lemon, garlic, chopped parsley, crusty bread, whether it's brown bread or a little bit of giabat or something like that, it's all you need. So it's very, very versatile. And I've done lots of recipes on my account and also on Borbea account uh, of showing you how versatile and a quick and easy it is to use Irish brown crab. So I'm going to get cracking on. It's very, very simple. This is already cooked. As I say, it's already done. We're going to prepare. Uh, I'm going to show you actually, first of all, how to do a little bit of pickling. So for some red onion. So we're going to use some white wine vinegar. Roughly about a spoonful of that is going to go in here. So I'll just slice a little bit of the onion in a moment. But before I do that, I want to put in some caster sugar. Now this keeps and it gives lovely acidity and freshness. So roughly about a teaspoonful of the caster sugar. And then what you do is you just dissolve the sugar in the vinegar. Now you can put in different spices like star anise, coriander seed, lots of different herbs, that kind of thing. So you're just mixing that. So it's kind of like really sweet and sour. And what I'm showing you here, the pickled onion works really, really well with the crab. Okay, I'm just gonna use half a red onion. I'm gonna slice it really nice and thin. So just like this. So I don't need a huge amount because I'm just literally going to do one of the tacos, but obviously you can use a couple of onions, so that should be more than enough. Now the secret is when you get this, is just literally open it out and then into the bowl. And if you can leave this, you know, for a certain length of time, give it a little mix and that's your pickled red onion. And you'll see um, the liquid will kind of change colour, so it should be kind of sweet and sour. Now a little pinch of sugar, or salt should I say, because the sugar's in there, and that's it done. It's as easy as that. Now you'll notice the longer you leave this, the more uh, stronger it gets, so it does, and softer it will get, and flavoursome. That's exactly the word, the word I'm trying to use. So leave that over to the side. Next thing we're gonna do is our lovely little tomatoes. So our cherry tomatoes, we're gonna put these over here. We're going to just marinate them. So I'm just gonna cut them in half. I actually like cutting them across like this. So these can be grown in Ireland and are growing in Ireland, which is gorgeous. This is a lovely time of year for tomatoes. All we need is the sun. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of lemon zest and a touch of oil and just a little bit of basil. So we're gonna get lots of flavor. Now the griddle pan I'm gonna switch on because I'm going to just grill literally the taco, the little tortilla wraps now in a moment. So a little bit of lemon zest goes in there. And into that, a touch of some Irish rapeseed oil and then literally a pinch of some salt and some black pepper and then a little touch of basil. So if you look behind me, I have lovely fresh plants. Okay, so these are a great thing to have in your kitchen. So this is some lovely fresh basil. We're just gonna pick off a little bit and then that's gonna go in there, just a small amount. So you can obviously do extra tomatoes. I think the longer you do this with the tomatoes, you can put vinegar in there, but I'm keeping it very, very simple. Cause I think with the pickled, uh, onion, red onion, even though the red onions are sweet, but there's a quite a sharpness from the white wine vinegar. So how pretty does that look? So just put that all in there. Just get a wee spoon, you can cover it in cling film, put it in a little Kindler jar, put it in a little plastic container, whatever you want to, it works really, really well. So mix that all together. So if you can leave that for a little while, the flavors will, will actually, you know, they'll increase, they'll get better. So it's the same with the, the uh, pickled red onion. You know, the longer you, you can do a lot of these things a day or two ahead. Okay, two more things to do, then we'll just assemble this. Uh, this is some mayonnaise. We're gonna make a little bit of pesto mayonnaise. So this is a really good 
quality uh, pesto and we're going to mix this all together so when you think of all the flavors we're going to have here we're going to have some lovely creamy avocado lots of lemon and lime and that's a lots of lovely flavor in that also so that's our pesto mayonnaise so you see that lovely color there the tomatoes pickled onion and them are mayonnaise these can all be kept in your fridge and they'll keep for up to a week so there's no problem with that so avocado avocado is one of those things you never know when you open it but you need to press it and when you get when it's a little bit soft but not too soft it's perfectly ripe now if it's too hard don't leave it in your uh, kitchen uh, fridge because it's never going to ripen so i'm just going to literally just wipe my knife here we're going to open this out and of course, you know, I like avocados, but I would prefer tomatoes, I prefer the onions, but so whatever you want. So that's a perfectly ripe avocado there. So just open it out. All I need is just literally half an avocado. So the easiest way to remove this is using a spoon. Hold it in your hand, and then just literally when it's nice and all, this is perfect. This should just come out perfectly like that. Now, just remove that little bit of the skin, and there you have it. So with the avocado, we want to um, kind of like slice it nice and thinly. And then we're going to put a little bit of lime juice because it works really, really well. So that's the avocado there. Just kind of separate it out. So I could use the lemon juice, but lime works really well, particularly with avocado. So I'll just get a little bit of lime here, a little bit of lime zest. Love the zest there. And then just a touch but half the juice of some lime. So we have lots of interesting flavors, lots of citrus fruit. So you have the sweetness of that lovely brown crab and just literally sprinkle that over there. So that will keep it from this coloring, but also it's gonna give it flavor. So I'm just gonna literally start just warming up the little tortilla wraps. So nice hot griddle pan. Just open these out. And then we're just gonna drizzle this just with a tiny little bit of oil. And all I'm doing is just warming this. So they're a nice little size. You can do the, obviously, the, the bigger ones. You can get different sized ones. These are produced from an Irish company. So we're trying to keep everything as Irish as possible. Our lovely tomatoes, the lovely red onion, the brown crab, the tortillas. The avocado, unfortunately, isn't. we we'll just move that over there. So that's our mayonnaise. So full fat mayonnaise, just with some pesto. I think that works really well. Or you could use some lime in that if you wanted to. That's our crab. And the crab is cooked. So you can see those lovely chunks. So, you know, crab actually cooks very, very quickly. So it does if you're lucky enough to catch your own crab. <laughs> Trust me, I haven't caught very many crab in my lifetime. But um, the, um, you can get it now if you're a local fishmonger and in the supermarkets already cooked and ready to go. And that's what people want. They want something that's really quick, delicious, and of course, that it's lovely and Irish. So I'm just going to flip this over. So just a nice little grill mark there. Turn that off bring my plate up here and then we're going to start to assemble this so I'm not really looking for a huge amount of color uh, you can pop it into the oven if you want to so just literally just I'm going to do one of these obviously it's nice if you get a platter of these so the first thing we'll do is our mayonnaise so the mayonnaise just with the back of the spoon we kind of smear this all over here so just go right to the edge nah. lovely the avocado is next I'll just use the same spoon that I just took it out. So we're just literally going to arrange this. So there should be lots of texture, flavor, color. So that goes there. Now, next are lovely brown crabs. So I'm going to pick the nice chunky little pieces here. If you can bring this to room temperature, it doesn't have to be warm, but just room temperature will just make it more. I think it brings out the natural sweetness. That's just a personal uh, taste and choice for me. So just literally arrange plenty of that. You can see those lovely chunky pieces. Okay, them are tomatoes. So we have some lovely colored tomatoes here. So this really is just kind of somewhere on a plate, isn't it? Our avocado gives a lovely kind of creamy, delicious texture, flavor. And then our lovely tomatoes. I'm gonna use another red one there, isn't that lovely? Okay, the pickled onion, just, you know, I'm a fan. And um, what will happen if you leave this even longer, it'll get a little bit soft. So I'm literally just going to literally open it out, kind of separate, just using my fingers. You can use tweezers if you want to. It's very chefy. I don't have tweezers at home in the kitchen. We use them in McNeen. A little bit of that. So that's really fresh now. 
So remember, you have lime, you have lemon, you have vinegar, you have lots of interesting flavors. I was thinking about what, what could we spice it up with, but this is a lovely sriracha sauce, and it's made from an Irish company called Thai Gold. So they're based in Wexford. So if you're using any of their um, you know, coconut milk or they have the most beautiful Thai curry paste, they're excellent. So I'm just gonna literally drizzle this over. Just a little drizzle of that. Tiny little bit of rocket, we're nearly there. So I love rocket. Actually, when you're keeping salads in your kitchen, because this time of year, salads wilt. So this is a wild rocket. So it's lovely, punchy, delicious. I'm gonna get a tiny little bit of coriander, just because I have it behind me. And this is the plant of coriander here. So just literally pick that. And that works really well. When you think of it, the avocado, the lime, the coriander. So, so many lovely flavors, herbs, you know, different textures. But for me, the star of the show is that beautiful Irish brown crab. So how nice does that look? So what would I serve with that? Just leave it as it is. You can serve more salad if you want to. But I think that on its own is a lovely kind of light supper, lunch, even for brunch, it'd be absolutely perfect. So that is my Irish brown crab tacos with uh, avocado, tomato, pickled onion, and a little bit of rocket. Enjoy. <laughs>